Pico, Pico the penguin, Pico, Pico the penguin, Pico, Pico the penguin, yeah! <laughs> Hello, it's me, Evelyn Wondersnack! So you're probably wondering to yourself, why are car boots called trunks in the US? That makes no bloody sense. I may have the worst timing in the world, but every time I've been on New Babbage with its brand new cloud system, it's been getting dark. I haven't seen it at daytime once. Oh, I don't think I've said this enough, but I absolutely love the fact that the expo is actually signposted. And these signposts are all over New Cabbage. And I think that is absolutely bloody brilliant for immersion. And also helping me find where to go because I'm... I'm pretty bloody useless with directions. <laughs> like the fact it even tells you which subway to get on. I really wish Lorville had these. It'll make everything a lot bloody easier. So today at the expo, we have Crusader, Tumbrel Land Systems, and we also have Oapio, Banu, Esperia, and Gatak Manufacture. I have no clue what most of those are. So this is going to be interesting. Embrace speed. No, not that kind of speed, uh, I hope. But m maybe it is. Um, hmm. Oh, I love movies. What is happening there? What is that? Oh, I want one. Oh, no, this is where the predator jumps down and absolutely annihilates them. Welcome to day five of the IAE Expo with special guest Pico the Penguin. Pico, Pico the Penguin. <laughs> That needs to become a hit immediately. So this is uh, a Banu, a Banu Defender. Are these alien ships? Oh, wow, look at it. Meet the Banu Defender, a multi-crew fighter whose patchwork design highlights technology from a variety of species, featuring modest accommodations for its crew and easy access to components. The Defender gets its name from the role it serves, the first line of defense against enemy attacks. Oh my, wow, okay. This is basically Moya from uh, Farscape, right? Is this a living ship? Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is so cool. So you've got some beds back here and you've got a, a, a pilot seat, I'm guessing, in here. Yeah, so you've got two cockpits, which is amazing. Uh, I love this. This is um mind-blowing. This is beautiful. Over here, we have the Esperia Blade. Uh, which are light fighters. This looks like something out of Stargate. It's incredible. Um, how do you get inside? I <laughs> um, hmm. Well, that's an experience. Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, unless it's there. No. I actually don't know. I would assume you'd climb up to the cockpit, right? But there doesn't appear to be a, uh, a thing there. Um, no. Uh, I'm at a loss, but it, it's really nice uh, to look at from a distance because you can't actually fly it. But yeah, what is that? It looks like a fly. That's its massive eye. And there's this weird thing that comes out of its face like a butterfly. I'm not sure if I like it. It's a bit busy. Or should I say buzzy? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I, that, that was really bad. Oh, okay. Oh. They hover? Ooh, what in the hell is this? Um, so you know what this reminds me of right now? You remember those mouses back in the day that had the ball wheels on top instead of using a laser pointer? My dad would always insist on using one of these top ball mice <laughs> instead of a normal mouse, and it always really annoyed me. Either that, or it's the ship from Aquila. And if you know what the CBBC series Aquila is, you're amazing. <laughs> Power on. Systems off. No, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. I don't like it. It makes weird noises. <laughs> it's the Apoa Cartual, uh, which is, I'm assuming, an, an alien vessel that was modified for humans. Yes, there. Okay. Uh, so, yes, that is um, mind-blowing. The Asperia Prowler. Oh, that's what was in that video. Okay, I'm going in. 
Oh, well, that's nightmares. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I'm going to be honest. Um, I, mm, I don't want to get near those. What are they? Seats? What? What is this? I don't like that. No. No, thank you. Don't want any. Um, oh, I, no, I don't like it. Oh, it's creepy. Um, just get on the seat. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Systems activating. Okay. Systems on. I can't see anything outside. How does this thing work? Um, uh, open windscreen. Hello? <laughs> how, do you, how are you supposed to see out of this bloody thing? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Oh, viewport on. I'm just gonna leave. Um, I don't, I don't know about this. Evelyn can't handle this one. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving immediately. It's a weird mix of like Klingon and Romulan design. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's actually got like feathers. That's weird. Oh, that is insane. Is that a gun? No. The glaive. Oh, I like that. I'm actually gonna get this one. That is amazing. Hey, Timmy, do you want nightmares? Then come into this year's expo. You, you will get scared shitless. Can I get inside this one? No. Uh, <laughs> can you tell I'm good at this? I'm amazing. Everyone keeps telling me to go downstairs to look at the hollow displays. So that's what we're going to go and do. So I'm actually kind of surprised. These are the only ones on the show floor. Um, unfortunately, we do have a couple of things in the hollow room. So we're going to go in here. Oh, there is something else. Look at these. I just want to fly through a forest and get chased by stormtroopers. I'll be honest. How many, <laughs> many sci-fi references can I make in this video? <laughs> I don't know about that. That's a bit weird. It looks like someone's like slammed together a load of Lego and Connect and then just been like, we have a ship now. It's called the Kalego. <laughs> I don't know. Get out of my way. I need to look at what this is. It's the Gatak Raylan. My name was way better. It says the Merchant Man's also in here. I, I didn't see the Merchant Man. Oh, oh, is that the Merchant Man? <laughs> Hang on. I think I was looking at it from a weird act. Wait, this doesn't look the same. Okay, this is creepy. I was just in this room, but they've checked. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I see. I see the problem. <laughs> you bloody moron. <laughs> It was two rooms. I okay. Uh yes, this is the merchant man. I like this a lot more. Um, I do like the look of that. The only thing I don't like is the weird scoop. It looks like you can also use this as a fork. Uh <laughs> to just scoop up some food as you go by. Uh but yeah, apart from that, the merchant man is amazing. So I have a new segment. It's called Ship of the Show. And with my list, that's really hard to say. So, the ship of the show of this particular show has to be the Prowler. No, I'm lying. Screw that box of nightmares. It's obviously the Banu Defender. Look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Right, so let's head to the Zenith Hall. And in here is going to be Crusader and another one. Hang on a minute. I'm getting deja vu. <laughs> Haven't we already seen this? Ages. No. No, 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 not ages. Right. Uh, I don't know what's happening, but uh, apparently this is still here. Uh, this was from two days ago, so I don't know why Aegis is still here, even though they shouldn't be, right? But, you know what? This gives us an opportunity to have a look inside the Reclaimer. You have to say it in one of those deep movie voices, otherwise it just doesn't sound right. Alright, let me hop on board thy elevator! I need to make this thing go up. How do I do that? <laughs> um, uh, up, go, fly, go up, do a thing, G go up. Oh, th there, I found it. Don't worry. I I'm, I'm okay. Oh my god, this is terrifying. So I've heard that this is basically a ship from Alien. Um, so if you like that movie, you're gonna like this. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. You know what? I take back my statement from earlier. This is a ship of nightmares. Um, wh why would you want this? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, gorgeous volumetric lighting there, but no, N no, this is the ship you find dead in space with no life size on board. How do you know what you do when you find it? You fly in the opposite direction. Scanning station. Okay. What does this do? TARDIS's automated response system. Yes, I know. That's why I called you. 
What is it that you need? Well, uh, this is quite embarrassing, but I, I'm lost. Okay, so that's weird. It just plays my old videos. Themselves. The thing is, there's probably someone on board here, and I don't even know. Okay, there's a button here. Uh, call elevator. Thank you, Arrow. That actually really helped. <laughs> I would have not known to press that before. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do like a, a short horror film on this at some point. That is definitely something I want to do. Uh, go up. Oh. No. No, I'm all right. Look at all the wires in there. I should have done this at Halloween. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit late now. Hello? Mm. This is literally just straight out of Alien, isn't it? They weren't even trying to hide it. Uh, <laughs> a bloody xenomorph is going to come popping around that corner in a second. Uh, what is this? Hopefully it's the exit. No, it's a room you go to die in. Brilliant! Okay. Oh, it's the room where they filled John Hurt having a xenomorph pop out of him. Brilliant! I don't like this. Um, what is that corridor of nightmares? Uh, <laughs> no. Just no. What? I, I don't like this. How do you even fly this thing? There are too many rooms. You know those things called liminal spaces? This is literally the definition. Um, <laughs> it's just not, not good. Is that blood? Oh my god. Hello? I'm going to have to kick the store doors down like in the movies. Oh, well that kind of takes them. Hello? No, I'm not. I'm not doing this. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's all right. Oh, I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm so I'm lost. Oh, thank God an airlock. Let me out. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Help? I'm tempted to just jump out of here. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm just... I'm tempted to leave. Um. Okay, you know what? what? Ah, okay. Oh, I'm out of there. I'm not doing that. That is... That is not happening. Uh, <laughs> that is not. No, we're not doing that. Booyah. Okay, I'm a badass. Right, here we go. I need to quickly and easily work my way down to the next level of um, nightmares. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, I think I've buggered myself, I'm going to be honest. Get up, Evelyn. Come on, you've got this. You've got it, girl. Do it. Trust me to get stuck on the outside of a ship. I'm going to die in the expo center. That's literally what's about to happen. We can do this. I believe in us. Ooh! I did it. No. No, I'm dead. Help. <laughs> no, I don't want to respawn. No. Ah. <laughs> Harbor, you bastard! Oh my god. I lost my suit. I lost. Actually, that was it. I just lost my suit. <laughs> That's okay. I can live with that. Oh, go to the expo. They said, you know, oh, it'd be fun. <laughs> no. No, it wasn't. It was terrifying. I can't do anything. It's not loading. Um, I'm going to have to exit to the menu. <laughs> Will that work? I really hope it does. Here we go. It says I'm on Lorville. Let's find out if that's the case. Uh, and I'll end the video when we know what the situation is. Because I really hope I haven't lost Pico, Pico the Penguin, Pico, Pico the Penguin. <laughs> that needs to become a hit. Make it a hit. Put it on Reddit. Send it to the devs. It needs to become a song. Even though it's blatantly copying a theme for a British... TV show from the 70s. D don't mention that. That's secret. Okay. I've spawned. Um. Oh! <gasps> I'm wearing my outfit! I didn't lose my suit. Where am I? I'm not on... <laughs> I'm not on <laughs> bloody Microtech. That's for damn sure. Uh, hello? Oh, oh yay. I'm on Lorville. My, my favourite place. <sighs> Did I lose, like, all my stuff? 
Oh no, so I've got all of my actual items. Uh, these are my items that this is my home base. <gasps> there he is. Oh, yes. Pico, Pico the penguin. Pico, <laughs> Pico the penguin. <laughs> I love him. All right, Pico, let's go have a look, see. I was going to have a nice time at the expo, but no. I, I had to enter the bloody nightmare pit. Pico! No, come here. Eh. Don't talk to me like that, Pico. I'm sorry I dropped you. And also, stop staring at me like that. Now, Pico, if you could press the floor button, that'd be great. Maybe next time we will actually see um the, the right show. I don't know why Aegis was still there, to be honest. Um, Right, Pico. Do you need to pay off any crimes? You've got all the crimes, Pico. All the crimes. Oh, I can't be mad at you. Look at you. Look at your stupid face. Right, well, it's been lovely. F thank you for uh, stopping by and watching. Um, what? That don't... No, I'm ending the video, Pico. It's the end. Y yes, the end of the video, Pico. You'll be in the next one. All right? Anyway, I've been Evelyn Wondersnatch. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye.